latest we can cross now to Abdijan, talk to our reporter Sam Brad Peace, who's covering all of this for us. Sam, I understand we might have got some results in uh, pretty recently. What can you tell us? Yeah, the final uh, constituency results that we were waiting on have come in. And what we can say is that their next National Assembly in Ivory Coast will be won with a majority for the ruling RHDP party. That's the party of the president, uh, Alassane Ouattara. Now, in total, the RHDP won 53% of the vote. That's slightly, that falls short of the target. They were hoping to win 60% of the seats, but it's nonetheless a majority. And what it means is, is that the president, Alassane Ouattara, will be able to push through his legislative agenda uh, with, with ease, uh, relatively speaking. Uh, this election did play out in really quite a calm context text, certainly uh, compared to the presidential one back in October, when at least 87 people died in communal violence, according to the government. Uh, nothing like that this time around. Uh, the opposition will be desperately disappointed because this really was their last chance to place some kind of democratic check on the president's grip on power uh, until the next presidential election. Uh, so really, really quite, quite a big day for the ruling RHDP party uh, indeed. Yeah, and Sam, I want to pick up on what you were just saying there um, about the mood in Abidjan um, being relatively calm after the election. You've been in the country for a couple of days now. Tell us what things are like at the moment. Well, yeah, I, I have been here for, uh, for actually for about a week now, uh, and and I was also here covering the presidential election, and the the difference is really quite remarkable. Uh, just when you speak to people uh, here in Ivory Coast, you really get a sense that there isn't the same level of passion for these legislative elections as there were for the presidential one. There seems to be an impression that uh, that simply these legislative elections don't matter uh, as much as the presidential one, which I suppose is quite a common trend around the world. But if you look at the last three three uh, legislative elections here in Ivory Coast, the average turnout has been 34 uh, percent. Those were the three running up to this one. Uh, and so, yeah, you really do get an impression that, you know, I think for the average Ivorian on the street, these are not considered the most important uh, elections uh, on the calendar. Certainly not. All right. Sam, Brad, peace for us there in Abidjan. Thank you very much indeed.